Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to do an unboxing of a Breville Scraper Mixer Pro. This mixer comes with a lot of great features, and I actually got it at a great bargain. So join me as we unbox a Breville Scraper Mixer Pro. So this is the Breville Scraper Mixer Pro, and Breville is trying to give KitchenAid a run for his money, so we will see if they can do that, right? Um, it's got a lot of features that um, is not available on the KitchenAid, so, um, you know, we'll see if those features are worthwhile. The model number on this is BEM800XL-A. And the little backstory on this is that this is sort of a uh, Christmas present, if you will. Eric gave me a gift card, um, and I was sort of torn between a couple things that I wanted. And as we were getting ready to leave, there was a sign that says, Select Electrics, 50% off. And I saw four Breville mixer sitting there and I didn't really think that they would be 50% off so there was a salesperson there and I said do these mixers apply to the 50% off and she said yes right so the normal price on this is $299 and I got it for $150 I really wanted to try this mixer out and I thought at that bargain I could do that okay so this is the scraper mixer pro um, it has 12 speeds and a countdown, so it has a timer down here that counts down or up so you know how long you've been mixing. So that's an interesting feature that the KitchenAid does not have. Um, what it says on here is, it is a 5 quart mixer, it has 12 speeds, it's 550 watts, it has the timer, it does have the planetary action like a mixi like the KitchenAid, but it also comes with a scraper blade that's usually an extra fee on from KitchenAid. It comes with the scraper butt beater, a flat beater, a whip, and a dough hook, which is pretty standard, except for the scraper beater is um, included on that. It also comes with your pouring shield automatically with it. Um, it has a lift assist mixer head, which supposedly makes it easier to maneuver. It is die cast metal construction. Um, it has load sensing technology. It comes with your pouring shield. It's five quart, 12 speed, and it has the timer. And it also comes with a spatula. So let's see what's in the box. Okay, so let's open it up. And the very first thing we have in here is um, a little pamphlet that just gives some additional things that you can buy with it. You can get an ice cream maker, another bowl, a scraper whisk. And here's the product manual. It's pretty actually a detailed manual. Um, usually they don't come. We have lots of recipes. Um, usually they don't come with lots of pictures in this. So this is really nice. This is your warranty. Here's our um, paddle. And here's our dough hook. It also comes with a little scraper here. I guess if this, if you're using the paddle there. Um, this is our flex edge. So this paddle scrapes while you're mixing so you don't have to scrape down. This is our pouring shield. And let's get the mixer out. So this is the other part to our pouring shield. Looks like it just slides in here. So this is where 
you will pour your ingredients in into the bowl so they don't splatter all over you. And here we have our whip. There's our whip. So let's get all this off of here. Um, it is a tilt head. And it comes with a little thing on it. Just tells you about the features of it. And it's similar to the five quart artisan model. This is what it competes with. It has a little bit more watts than it, but that sometimes doesn't really make that big of a difference, right? So to tilt your head up, you're just going to hit this button here, and there's a handle, and you can grab it and tilt the head up, right? And then the bowl releases, similar to the KitchenAid, it's really nice, it has a handle on it. So you just put it back in here and twist it. And that's how you get the head back down. And then here is your timer and then this is your control and what's kind of different about this and the KitchenAid, the KitchenAid starts with stir and then one through ten. This one doesn't really do that it just has levels from fold, knead, light mix, creaming, beating and aerating, whipping. So depending on what you need that's what you dial it to. Um, it also has a pause feature. The other thing about it is it has handles back here to make it easier to lift. It has actually has handles on both sides. So this is a Breville Scraper Mixer Pro. It's five quarts with 550 watts. It's a tilt head model and it's made to compete with KitchenAid's Artisan. So we're going to put this to the test. We're going to make a few things and we're going to see how it performs. Okay, let's see how this baby works. We're going to go ahead and tilt the head up. We're going to put our, let's just put the paddle on here. Similar to the KitchenAid. Move the head down. And we're going to cycle through the speed. So there's a little pause at first. I don't know what that's for. Maybe when you're on the stir speed, if you want to pause it for a second. So this is the kneading speed, this is the folding speed, this is the light mix. And air riding. And that's max. This is seem to shake around a lot, which is nice. It works. So the Breville mixer, we're going to give this thing a whirl and see what it can do. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook. You don't know me, but I'm a mixer. Ba